VISI is short for vital signs and mobile because it's for ambulatory patients. And, and what we do is we bring continuous patient monitoring uh, to ambulatory patients uh, so that uh, we provide patient safety where there are currently gaps in patient safety. So right now the, the standard of care in hospitals is that, that most patients, 60% of all hospitalized patients get uh, only what's called spot check monitoring. So the nurse would come in and put uh, a cuff on you, a finger clip on you, uh, put a, a temp probe uh, in your mouth, uh, count your breathing rate, and then that procedure is uh, repeated every four hours. But in between, in between those four hours, nobody really knows what's going on with those patients. And more and more studies over the last decade roughly have shown that um, given that you have demographic changes, you have older, sicker patients, more potent drugs, more complex procedures, that this is actually not safe enough anymore. Um, and, and you need something which provides continuous monitoring so that if a patient deteriorates, you can be alerted to, to that fact. Uh, but uh, technology doesn't exist today that provides you mobility and continuous monitoring. So you have to make a choice, basically. And Invisi Mobile tries to change that paradigm so that you don't have to make a choice between whether you keep your patient safe or you have your patients mobile. So you don't compromise on, on either end. What we have is, at the heart of, of Visi Mobile is um, a small, lightweight um, monitor. So it's, it's, a, it's a transceiver, basically. Um, it weighs 120 grams, it's waterproof, uh, it has local alarming, it has uh, local storage, local display, local control. So in essence, it can do uh, most things that currently only a much bigger ICU type monitor can do. We just compressed everything and made it battery efficient enough so that you can actually fit it on your wrist. So what I have here is my, my little wrist cradle. So a patient would wear the wrist cradle on either arm. I'm not causing too much noise here. Typically you have a nurse do it and it's very easy. On yourself it's a little harder. So then you clip the device into that and now I take what we call the thumb sensor. So this, this is a sensor that monitors uh, SpO2 and pulse rate. Put that on the base of my thumb. So I can still move my hand. I can do all the things that a patient would typically like to do with with their hands when they're in a general med surge area, eat, drink, read, etc. And I plug that in, that switches the device on. So there's no on off switch uh, necessarily. And it goes through a couple of, of technical checks, fires up, and after a few seconds it starts reading my SPO2 and pulse rate. So you, now the monitor is alive. I can uh, show you my my plath, as it develops, it goes through some background checks. So there's my plethysmogram. And then after a few seconds of, of averaging, it will show first my pulse, uh, blood oxygen saturation, the SpO2. And then a few seconds after that, it will also show my, my pulse rate. There it is. So that's the most basic form of monitoring we can provide. So that's SpO2 and pulse rate. If, however, I want to have other vital signs, I'm simply adding what we call the chest sensor. So this goes on my chest like that. It would be held down with a little adhesive strip. And uh, this is the entire ECG, respiration, and temperature monitor. So this has all the electronics, A to D conversion, bead picking, filtering, defib protection is in here. So this is a, a digital bus. This is a cable going down to the, to the monitor, plugs into the other end of that monitor. I won't undress for you now. <laughs> um, and we have a three lead and a five lead version. And with that, I have all vital signs uh, captured continuously uh, with, with a very um, lightweight, non-mobility limiting uh, uh, form factor. To measure blood pressure, we have uh, another module, which is our cuff module. Let's move that over here. So we're using um, a standard Welch Allen FlexiPort cuff, and we have a little adapter on that cuff. And that adapter allows us to mount our cuff module directly on the, on the arm. So there's no hoses, etc. in between, so I, I would argue that's probably the the smallest and lightest NIVP module that you, that you can get on the market. 
you plug that into the other side of the monitor so we have three ports on that other end of the monitor and then with that I take my either single blood pressure manually or I can take uh, an, an auto blood pressure so with a time frequency and um, actually what, what Sotera uh, was, was based on initially was a technique to measure continuous and non-invasive blood pressure. So this will be added to the product early 2013, so we'll be submitting that to the FDA uh, by before end of the year. And uh, that technique uh, works on what's called pulse transit time. So at that point we use the, the NRVP module purely for calibration. So you have an initial calibration step, then you take off the module, and then your monitor monitors all five vital signs. So heart rate, ECG, SpO2, respiration, temperature, and blood pressure all continuously, all non-invasively. For what I'm wearing now, so the whole, all the uh, body-worn components, we got clearance in April, but it still wasn't a complete end-to-end -end system then because if you want to basically provide access to data uh, to clinicians and also alarms if patients deteriorate, you need the wireless connectivity and the remote viewing and alarming backend, and we got clearance for that in late August this year.